December 15th, 2023 marks 60 years the Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation has been serving Barbadians. To mark the milestone, the CBC has commenced a week of activities beginning with a Thanksgiving service. The congregation included current and former staffers as well as members of the wider CBC family. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Home Affairs and Information, Yvette Goddard, delivered remarks on behalf of Minister Wilfred Abrams, who is on duty leave. In a statement, he said CBC continues to be an integral part of the Barbadian and regional landscape. As it not only embodies the purpose of radio and television, which is to inform, educate and entertain, but has demonstrated its heart and true purpose in the way it was, has loved, shared and cared for its community over the last 60 years. It is this spirit of community that has kept CBC relevant for the last six <coughs> decades. And the finest example of this commitment is the weekly Q in the Community event, which provides an outlet for the more mature in our society and contributes to seniors' physical and mental well-being in a way no medication can. And as the corporation plans for the future, it will be embracing greater use of technology. Going forward, CBC will expand its social media footprint to reach an even larger audience while allowing for business transactions on our soon-to-be-completed e-commerce platform. Lots more is coming, so stay tuned. Of course, there has been talk about changes to come at CBC. Change is necessary. It is part of growth and development. But any change coming will be designed to maintain the integrity of CBC while ensuring the public interest is maintained. In his sermon, Rector Canon Peter Haynes thanked the corporation for its contribution over the last 60 years, even as he called on it to continue on the path of nation building. It is not just the development of bang, bang, bang on the radios today, but development of culture, development of programming which enlightens God's people, which tells us there's an alternative to what is happening around the world. There's an alternative to what is happening in our neighbors around us, in the big countries and the big cities, that there are alternatives and that we have something to offer, that we have something to give to God's people and to recognize that you don't minister just to us here as Barbadians, but how many people across the world are on YouTube and Wi-Fi listening to your programming. As part of the week of activities, a number of iconic news anchors will be presenting CBC Newsnight. There are also plans for an employee recognition and award ceremony. Sharika Griffith, CBC News, 